Hi, this is third generation of Live View remote for Sony and what is new with this remote is it, it can power up camera over Bluetooth. This is the reason I decided to buy this combo. This combo comes with this HDR IS300 and this remote function should be same with uh, FDRX3000. In my spare time I ride motorcycles and I usually have camera mounted on helmet and can be hard to see if camera is recording or in what mode is that's why I wanted to have this setup thinking it would simplify things. After a couple months of usage I can say it had some bad things that I want to share with you. At first it drains battery and here is the reason to enable remote power function camera has to have Bluetooth always powered. This is why if you forget to set camera to airplane mode and leave it for few days it can be empty next time you use it. That's why if you search with, bo with Bluetooth you can always see the camera Bluetooth even if the camera is off. So uh, if you leave camera like this uh, for a few days uh, it will drain battery. They can b that can be annoying because I usually recharge devices after weekend trip and leave it so it can I can just grab it next time I go and not recharge devices again day before trip. So you need to power on the camera, set the airplane mode and then power it off and leave it in to be ready. Second thing, it's slow on remote power function. So if I power the remote, you can see that it's still booting, booting, not still not ready, still not ready. It's ah, now it's ready. So as you can see it takes around 15 seconds and in motorcycle time it's often picture or video opportunity missed. Uh, third thing is icons are so small you can't see in what mode you are on remote. So it's if it's remote more than 30 centimeters away from you you cannot see it because if you take a closer look here is the battery status on remote and left of it it's uh, battery of the camera and here on the left this tiny icon it's in photo mode and this it's really small. Fourth thing uh, that it's bad power button on remote is really small, small, hard and not tactile feeling. If you look you can see that many button it's normal but the power button it's recessed and you when you press it, nothing. You, you really need to put your fingernail in there and power it off or press it. And if you have gloves on the motorcycle, it's it's really really hard to. Even now, I have problems. Fifth thing, it's it has no automatic start on power up. When you press record button on the camera, in four seconds, it boots up and starts last mode. So now he took picture because it was in picture mode, if it was in uh, video record it would start recording. And on remote if you press record nothing happens. So you need to power it, press power, wait to boot up and then st start recording or take a picture. And it would be really nice to have that feature on, on this remote. So because of this I would not recommend this combo for motorcycle drivers. But I would recommend this camera. It is a good camera 
have good optical image stabilization and features features it don't have 4k's but you don't need it it's really okay video recording thank you and bye